Welcome to the Endless Honeymoon Podcast Secret Dump. How you feeling, Natasha? Oh, I'm good. Are you ready to dump? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to take a secret dump. Oh, Tosh. I know that's not your style of humor, but I appreciate you swinging for it. Can I ask you a question, Natasha? Yeah. Do you like my outfit? Um, yeah, it's cute. Wait, why do you go, yeah? Well, because you... It says something and I can't quite see what it says. It says fear the sea. You love surfing clothes now. No, I just love good clothes and I always have. I've been a fashion plate since. That's true. I, that's why I liked you. I mean, I love clothes. You love clothes too. You're a well-dressed lady. Let me just say that this outfit, with the exception of the shoes, the socks and the jacket, was brought to you and me by the good folks at Rourke. Now, this is not an ad. This is just me saying this stuff looks dope and they sent it to me for free. So if you are a clothing company out there that makes dope stuff and you send me a fat ass gift package like overflowing with clothing and I think it's dope, I'm going to wear it on this podcast and I might even talk about it. What if they send it to you and you don't like it? Then I won't. I probably won't talk about it. But you know what? We can negotiate that on the DMs. You DM me. You say, we really think that your <laughs> our company is a fit for your look. And then I'll say, hey, man, look, look, uh, look, I love what you guys do over there at... Um, and uh, what's that company called that they sell it in all the air- airports that says like, it's all good. Smile, be happy. I don't know. Honey. You know, what's that? Life is good. Uh-huh. If the people at Life is good, you were to email me and say, hey, do you like logos, the uh, slogans of, of positive, vague, positive messaging, even though the earth is melting into a global warming catastrophe, maybe we could send you some of this Bermuda shorts. Then I'd probably write back and say, hey, listen, life is good, but your clothing designs are not. I'm probably not the right fit for you. But if you're a company like Rourke, like Rourke, where you make dope surfing gear and camping gear that's actually fashionable and functional, like the people, the good people over at Rourke, I'm going to say, hell yeah, send me some shit. I'm aware of that shit, and I'm probably going to post about it. Cool. Yep. If you're a surf company, if you're a high fashion company, you know, I got a lot of brands I like. I like Vans. I like Stance Socks. I like Rogue Territory, I like Dr. Collectors. You know what I'm saying? Honey, um, did you did you uh, become an influencer in the past? Uh, I think couple f- weeks. Forty two is yeah. the perfect age to start your career as an influencer, mm. isn't it? It I, sounds fun. I'm the demo that those people are lusting for, but the truth is, I'm so like you and I. I've always said we're like the coolest people in the entire comedy community. You yeah, know? we always say that. We always say that to each other. <laughs> we put on a fire. I make you a Cornish game hen. And we say, how crazy is it that we're the two coolest people in the comedy community? It is pretty crazy. It's so crazy. I, I can't tell you how many texts a week I get. I get it. I, every week I get a text from a different comedian. Louis C.K., um, uh, Bill Cosby, um, <laughs> y- you know, uh, D- Cristalia. Uh, I just I get all these emails. Oh my god, you guys are so cool. There's something so cool about the two of you. You know what I mean? And I like, it's a humbling. It's it's definitely. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. It's humbling. It's a, it's a, Stephen Crowder will email us. <laughs> I mean, just like all the all the big the big guys in comedy. You know. All right, Moshe. Well, and Coulter. <laughs> it's awesome. You're so cool, honey. Let's take a dump. Terrence K. Williams. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's dump. But before we dump, if you're a company out there and you just want to send me some stuff, you go right ahead. Okay? <laughs> you go right ahead. Send me a DM. Hi. Um, I have a secret. Um, so about a month ago, my mom went on to Ancestry.com and there's a section where you can see um, relatives who have also logged in on Ancestry.com and made an account and everything. Um, and she found out that she actually has a sister, um, and she is the daughter of my grandfather's old secretary from the 80s, which isn't really surprising because my grandfather was a hoe back in the day. Um, and so basically he has a secret daughter, and nobody's fucking talking about it. Also, we can't tell my grandma, which is horrible because she's a saint. Thanks, guys. I love your podcast. Bye. I would say all time quotes of this podcast of all t- ever. What? M- my grandfather was a hoe back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Got us. Maybe my favorite moment. My Oh yeah. My grandfather was a straight hoe back in the day. My grandfather. Straight up hoe. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, what can you do, though? I mean, talking about it, I don't know. Maybe you talk about it behind her back, but then it gets to be something. I don't know what I would do in that situation. Listen. I guess it would depend on my grandmother's, you know, is it worth Constitution? it? Yeah, is it worth telling her something like that that could destroy her? Or would she think it was funny? Probably she wouldn't think it was funny. Probably not, <laughs> Natasha. Probably not. Or it's possible that she it's possible she's a little more savvy than you think. You might tell your grandma. And she's like, I know, she sweetie. Goes, yeah, I know. Your grandfather was a straight up hoe <laughs> back in the day. It's possible. Well, uh, what would you do in that situation? <sighs> my grandfather was a hoe, and my grandmother didn't know that he had a secret daughter. And she's like about to die in blissful peace. She's always like, Oh, he was such a good man. We spent 46 long, happy years together. Mm-hmm. She's about to die. Mm-hmm. I probably whispered in her ear right before she fully <laughs> lost consciousness. So that could be a, kind of her send off. <laughs> what, what would you do? Nana. N- Nana. We found you. <laughs> before you go. One final Remember message. Remember cl- Chlorine? The, or, <laughs> Chlorine? What, I was trying to think of like an old timey name. Maureen. Um, Maureen probably I would say a better name than Chloe. Uh, Maureen uh the, has has a daughter. Oh that's nice. It's it's his. Whose? Dad's. Your dad? Yeah, he he had a baby with with Maureen, his 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 long long-standing oh, assistant. But I'm your grandmother, so I I it's not my husband, it's your father? Yeah, my father, that's what I mean. Oh, your father cheated. <laughs> that doesn't matter. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree because my Morris was a straight up hoe back in the day. You know, back in the day, the Dust Bowl. <laughs> Do you think the Dust Bowl was harder than COVID? Well, I think a lot of times in history have been harder than, than these times, except they didn't have the added uh, bonus of existential angst. Although I guess they did during the Soviet missile crisis kind of thing. They thought that we were going to die in, a, in an atomic bomb. I'm going to get some 90-year-olds on the show. I want to talk to some old people. Uh, I'm in. I'm sick of talking to young people. Uh, should we hear one more secret? Okay. Yeah. So here's my secret. I had my first and only wet dream ever when I was uh, going to my own hometown for my grandma's funeral. I had my first and only wet dream while sleeping in the same bed with my cousin and I woke up coming right next to her and it felt really good. and. I've been masturbating to that incident ever since. So, yeah, that's my secret. I have my only wet dream while sleeping in the same bed with my cousin. Mm-hmm. See, now, it's don't feel like it's too incestuous, though, because it's just because your body is next to another woman's, right? I don't, I don't think so. I'm sure he got riled up by that sermon at the funeral. Because she, it was you know the pastor was like, now your grandma, she was a straight up hoe back in the day. Um, I think this is a great secret, very human, very natural, very um, the perfect. It's a perfect secret. It's shameful. I would be ashamed of it myself. But hearing it, I don't feel judgmental of the person. Well, at least the person, if they listen to our podcast, won't know it's him because he doesn't have like a very unique a distinct accent. accent. <laughs> It's like so obvious. Maybe he was putting it on though. Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe he's like his real voice is like, "Man, I was back there in Tallahassee." <laughs> and then there was my cousin. I don't know. I I think that um you can't help what makes you horny while you're sleeping. Ain't that the truth? Somebody yeah. once asked Dear Abby, "What what would people want to be uh least want to be revealed?" And she said their most shameful dreams because you really can't control it. You know what I mean? Mhm. What's the most shameful dream you've ever had? Just kidding. You don't have to answer that. I have shameful dreams. You never done anything like insanely bad in one of your dreams? Like fucked a family member or something? You must have. Maybe. Uh, We're all humans. You have? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Let's uh, play another secret palate cleanser. Gross. Hi, Natasha and Moshe. Um, I have a secret. And my secret is one that only myself and the other person that experienced this knows and it's that um 
several years ago, I was at work and um, I had some farts to let out and I let them out um, as, as slowly as I possibly could so as to not um, create sound because I was around people. Um, and so I did that several times and it was all good. And then, um, I went to the restroom and I ran into my boss's boss who was just exiting a stall to go wash her hands. And, um, I went into the stall and I don't know if I'm the only woman that experiences this or if others can relate, but sometimes if the suction or whatever is just right, the air will travel up to your um, vaginal canal, and then when you go to sit down or go pee or whatever, it comes out as a queef. So I queefed very loudly, 50-ish times, um, as the boss boss was in the restroom. 50-ish. And um, it was pretty embarrassing, but um, yeah, that's my secret. Thank you. Bye. 50-ish. 50-ish. <laughs> I mean, what? She's like, oh, you know, the biodynamics of a <laughs> uh, toilet seat with the airflow will sometimes go into your vaginal canal and make you queef for seven minutes straight. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I could see you sit down. It's like one, 50. And what did the farts have to do with that story? I think that's how it happened. They went in the wrong way. She's saying she was farting with such care that the air from the fart went into her vagina and then came out as a queef 50-ish times. She called it vaginal, but yeah. Vaginal, yeah. I guess. That doesn't make any sense. 50-ish times? You know, thank you for letting us know. And you know what? Fuck them. I, you Fuck know, who? I guess. Toilet bowl manufacturers? Her boss. Her boss's boss? If she has to queef, she should queef. She should have just walked let out and said, queef. hey, boss, let us queef. Seriously, today I didn't even feel like shaving under my arms. And you know what? It felt good. That's the connection you're making to queefing 50-ish times? Yeah, you know, it's like, just do, who cares? Do you know the guys queef actually too? We don't like to talk about it. But we queef also out of our urethras. <laughs> it's very soft. It's very still. It's beautiful. It's like a little gross. flute. It's beautiful. It's like, That's gross. A dick queef. Yuck. Yuck, indeed. Actually, we, whoa, I'm just getting... Wow, our producer just flashed us a sign. We just lost all of our sponsors. Whoa. Okay, well, we're doing this podcast for free now. Um, Natasha, hearing you talk about how pro queef you are and how you're not shaving your armpits anymore makes me think one thing and one thing only. Hmm. I love you. I love you, too. 